I'm ugly. You are not ugly. You're, uh... Uh... That's a tough one, ain't it? Don't you know what day this is, Katie? Yes, it's Friday. No, it's something much more special than that. Oh, of course. This is the day they collect the garbage. <laughs> How could I forget our 15th anniversary? <laughs> What's the matter? It's our tenth. It is. Well, it seemed like... Ah! Before you wrap that up, miss, I'd like to buy a present for my wife, too. Oh, very well. Uh, what did you have in mind? What do you have for about five dollars? Uh, how about one of the buttons from this coat? Good night, Mr. Atterbury. I hope Iris likes the mink coat. She will. I hope Liz is satisfied with that nightgown. Oh, she'll love it. I'll bet she's opened it already. Night. Good night. Oh, my present came this afternoon. Well, honey, I'm glad you like it. Like it? I almost lost my mind over it. But, George, all that money. Oh, well, so I went a little over the limit. A little over? Oh, George. Uh, you liked it, huh? I put it on right away. No. Yes, I was so eager to show it off, I wore it down to the market. You wore it to the market? You... You mean you wore that oh, to the... Oh, I know it isn't the thing to wear shopping, but I just couldn't resist. <laughs> didn't, didn't people stare at you? They couldn't keep their eyes off me. <laughs> oh, George, you should have seen everybody. <laughs> that cute little cashier wouldn't let me alone till I took it off and let her try it on. What? Anything, dear. Now, don't worry. I kept my eye on it all the time. Oh, that's great. I, I hope you didn't catch cold. Cold? In this weather? As a matter of fact, on the way home, I was so warm, I took it off and carried it over my arm. You ought to read the book yourself, Five. Five? That's your name in numerology. I just figured it out. Oh, no. Would you join me in another cup of two? <laughs> Wait just a minute. Before this thing gets out of hand, I think we better nip it in the three. Oh, watch your language. <laughs> but really, George, numerology is important. For instance, even your name has to be right for you, or it might ruin your life. For all you know, you might be going through life with the wrong name. Forget it. Now, keep quiet, and I'll, I'll figure out the right one for you. Let's see. Two and three are five, and G is six. See, it'll be better if you're something besides five. It'll help our vibrations. Liz, aren't you happy with the way I vibrate? <laughs> Quiet. Now, we need a four, and E is two. There. That's the perfect name. Uh-oh. What is it? Genevieve. <laughs> I didn't think Mr. Curry had that much nerve. Oh, it isn't Mr. Curry. It's that domineering wife of his. She did this. Liz, she's been dead for five years. That wouldn't stop her. <laughs> well, look at this ad. They're finally admitting how badly they build houses. What do you mean? Look, hillside home, reasonable. Hurry, this one won't last long. <laughs> It's numerology. Yes, I'm three and George is five. Really? I'll be 34 on my next birthday. <laughs> you see, Mr. Lawrence, we have to have a house that vibrates right for us. Oh, well, I have just the thing. Down by the railroad tracks. This, <laughs> this house vibrates all the time. But they're having a wonderful fortune teller. He looks into a crystal ball and he tells you what the future holds. Oh, he's probably some big phone. Oh, I'll say he is. It's me. <laughs> I shall contact your departed wife now. Zucchini to Bernice. Zucchini to Bernice. Come in, Bernice. Over. <laughs> Bernice? Hello. That doesn't sound like Bernice. Hello, you worm. That's Bernice. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> 
speak to her? Uh, all right. Uh, Bernice? Yes? You, you don't sound the same as you used to. Are you sick? Sick? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> tell me, Bernice, tell me, are you happy? Yes, but talk faster. It's awful hot here. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> you called. I gave you the wrong advice about the Coopers. You know who I mean. That young banker and his gorgeous red-headed wife. Don't you want to raise their rent? No, I want you to lower it. Lower it to, say, $75 a month. Oh, whatever you say. Say $50 a month. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful news for you, Mr. Cooper? Yes. Well, I guess she's gone now. Oh, yes. Bernice has departed. Yes, I, I guess so. No, I'm still here. I want you to fix the leak in the room. Fix the leak. <laughs> All right, Bernice. And paint the dining room. All right. And redecorate the living room. And add a sun porch. And you open... better quit while you're ahead, Bernice. <laughs> But wasn't that exciting? She sounded younger. Dying must have agreed with her. <laughs> You have been listening to My Favorite Husband, starring Lucille Ball with Richard Denning, and based on characters created by Isabel Scott Rorick. Tonight's program was produced and directed by Jess Oppenheimer, who wrote the script with Madeline Pugh and Bob Carroll, Jr. Original music was composed by Marlon Skiles and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. The part of Katie the Maid was played by Ruth Parrott. Lucille Ball will soon be seen in the Paramount picture, Sorrowful Jones. Be sure to listen to Lucille Ball in My Favorite Husband next week. Bob Lamont speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>